Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day, and today is the 17th, and today was a lovely day outside, aside from being just flipping ass cold. It got up I think like 50 degrees, like that, 51, and it's amazing how quickly I adjusted to the Florida temperatures. Um, I had on thermal underwear in my house today, my running thermal tights when I woke up. My house was cold, um, I felt chilled, I just said screw it. And that was not a good thing for me. I didn't sleep that great. I um, screwed up and had the wrong pillow overnight. So I woke up with a bit of crimp in my neck and that. And that sucked. But oh well. First few nights back in the bed after spending a month in a chair. Um, not going that well for me sleeping in bed. So we'll see what happens. Um, hopefully it gets better. I woke up. Um, I was doing decent. I was just like I said. I felt cold. I went and put on my thermal running underwear. Uh, thermal tights, whatever you want to call it. And knew I was going to do my run. And I've been running shorts and shirtless almost this entire month. And it's amazing how quickly I'm freezing to death right now. So went ahead, um, got a handful of stuff done in the house, just general stuff, checking, getting emails and putting stuff away and that kind of stuff. And it's just amazing the crap that you kind of have to get done in your house when you've been gone on the road for a month. So in the process of that stuff, I end up um, basically I sneezed and I dislocated my damn shoulder. Um, it's insanely painful right now. I'm in horrendous pain. It's hideous. I did get in to see my chiropractor and he did the best he could. It, it moved, it popped and that stuff, but it's just on fire. I've been taking ibuprofen in that. I'm not a drug taker at all. Um, I went ahead and took some ibuprofen. I think I'm going to look into maybe getting some muscle relaxers. I'm going to talk to my actual doctor and see if I can't get some. Um, I have this happening as well. It's just superbly tight. And a lot of it sounds dumb, but a lot of it's that it's stress induced is what a lot of my problems with that come into. And a lot of it could have been the fact of just the whole trip. There was, there was a little bit of drama and crap, a little bit here and there, but I think a lot of mine have just been the fact of I did not find an RV. So I was driving around in a uh, 1993 van I bought for 1200 bucks that just knowing it was going to break down at any moment might have added to a lot of stress. My body has a great way of allowing me to hold together long enough to get back somewhere safe and then I fall apart. It's happened in simple situations like my motocross wreck on the track on the um, way back in the day when I was landed on my ATV. I literally drove myself about an hour to a hospital and they life flighted me to Iowa City saying that I was not going to make the flight. That's how bad a shape I was in. So I was able to hold it together long enough to drive, like I said, over an hour. Uh, you know, I loaded up my equipment. I loaded up my dirt bike, my four all that stuff. I did everything there myself and then basically at that point you know every i was i got to the hospital and I, I blacked out so it's amazing what i have the ability to hold myself together when shit's really really bad and i got back here to home and then of course it all just falls apart so i've had a couple other instances in my life where i've had like a really bad week um things just everything is dumping on me and stuff and then i get out of that week and the next day literally when that week is over i'm you know, just fucked up. Like my back's out. My um, I end up sick as a dog. Everything happens to me. So that's kind of what I think what happened here was just the constant um, wonder if I make the right decision with the RV and not buy an RV and so on and so forth and everything else going on in my life. And there's a lot of changes coming up in my life. And it's just, I think it just manifests itself and dislocate my shoulder in the process. So I um, did, like I said, I got to see the chiropractor and stuff, took a shower. I couldn't lift my left hand enough to like do anything. I mean, my right arm's still dirty. I couldn't wash my right arm. It was that bad. So I'm um, trying to wash my hair with one hand and stuff. It's a pain in the ass and that. But I got through it. Um, I was up superbly late um, talking on the phone or uh, texting back and forth most, I guess. Um, just up later in hell. A lot of every time I try and go to sleep, I would like, I would twitch, I'd move, I'd roll, and my shoulder just shoot pains like hell. And it was just, it was horrendous. So, um, yeah, it was five something in the morning. I was still up and it was definitely not a good thing. So, we'll see what happens. Um, hopefully, tomorrow I'll wake up and I'll feel better and we'll go from there. So, Talk to you guys soon. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.